Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 45 and I have got a very, very cool episode planned for you. I know what's going on already because I've seen it, but I need to, uh, I've kind of seen it. You'll understand once we get into the video. Let's go ahead and do question of the day. So question for you is, what type of Minecraft player are you? Do you guys like to play survival? Do you like to play hardcore? Do you like to play modded? Are you a mini game player? Do you like to do creative redstone building? What do you do in Minecraft? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So to get started with today's episode, it's going to be a good episode today, guys. And I already know this because of what I have seen. No, I, um, this is after the caving episode right i'm over here in this mine it's like right near where we were and i'm just mining minding my own business and you know how sometimes in minecraft you can kind of see through a block right like if i'm looking this way sometimes like one or two of these blocks they will glitch out and you can see through the wall well i saw through the wall and i think i saw a double spider spawner i am not sure though we're gonna have to go check it out uh i want to go back upstairs but before we go any further I just want to say thank you. We hit 10,000 subscribers on the second channel. That is a, an amazing milestone. So thank you very much for that, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, so if you already haven't subscribed on the second channel, be sure to find the link in the description. And another thing, my brother and my nephew, Colin, who is five years old and he's the cutest kid on the planet, started a YouTube channel to just make fun videos with them too. And I would really appreciate it if you guys would go subscribe. That link is in the description as well so how do we get up there though is the question i saw um i saw it like i think it was like right here but the spawners were like right there um and i've been trying to get it to like happen again so i can see what's there but it, it just went away really fast typically those chunk errors go away pretty quick but in this case i can definitely say with certainty i know there's at least one or two spawners there there could have been um string that like tricked me but I think I know what I saw. So I think I guess the best like game plan here would probably just be to dig straight up this way, maybe. See if we can find it. I know that there is an absolute huge mine shaft here because one, oh, I hear spiders. Oh yeah, we're definitely in the right direction. I know this mine shaft is really, really big. But the funny thing is, is that like I had a, a totally different plan for today's video. And as I'm leaving the cave, it's crazy how you can just end up seeing something so random, but so good. Okay, we're like right near this thing. I swear it's like right here. Oh, it's right above us. Okay, let's block that off and then go this way. Your boy does not mess with... Oh, it was like right there the whole time. Okay, so there's spiders up there. Let me light this up down here. Let's go this way. Ooh, chunky spidey boy. There we go. Okay, so we know that there's at least one spawner there. Okay, what I don't want to do is lose the spawner, because if there is a double one here... Okay. Well, we know there's at least two. Because look, there's one right there. Alright, we got to get this all cleared out real fast. Hold on. Make sure no baddies can get in here. Okay. All right, so that one is all taken care of. Let's get rid of this. And I'm just gonna go forward because we need to go down, but I wanna make sure that there's no other creepers down here. Go this way. Um, Nothing there. Oh yeah, there's definitely more spiders here somewhere. Where are you? All right, I think we're gonna need to go up. Good morning. Um, oh, there's one kill him Okay, well, let's go down because we know that we saw one down here All right Oh Hold on. I gotta retreat retreat <laughs> Let's not die. Oh my god. That was sketchy All right. Well, I know for a fact that we now have a double spawner available to us. That's amazing. I'm so excited for that Love me some double spawns. All right Uh, there's a creeper right there. Let's see if we can get him free. Come with me, creeper. 
Come to the death side, buddy. Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, thank God. All right. Oh, this is sketchy. Where'd that other spider come from? Oh, oh my goodness. Got your boy stressing. Okay, okay, let's get in here. Spats, what are you doing? All right, guys, we officially have a double spawner. Oh yeah, baby, I am so excited. All right there. All right, let's go this way. I still hear more mobs. They must be. Ow. What's up with all the creepers, man? I didn't even plan on caving this episode at all either. Oh. All right. Okay. I still hear a ton more spiders. Dude, I wonder if this is like, oh, oh, there's spider. Okay, there's got to be another cave spawner. Where's it at? Where's it at? I know it's here. I hear them everywhere. I know you're here. Dude, there's got to be more than one. I'm telling you. Is it above us? It might be above us. Let's go up this way. Hold on. My sound is like through the roof sorry about that okay i'm gonna go up right here where's it at i know this sucker's here there's so many mobs oh there's another one oh my god there's two no freaking way dude what a quad spawner best world ever i'm gonna die i gotta run uh oh no nope. gotta go this way not today's spider oh my god i cannot believe we just found four spawners there's no there's gotta be dude what's going on here okay so let's see those two are actually in line let's check the other ones because i think okay so we gotta get up there real fast and put torches down I do those might be in line. They look like it There we go. Oh and by the way a lot of people were asking me How I was getting heads in the game um, I am getting heads in the game because I am using uh, a vanilla tweaks uh, data pack it's from Azuma's uh, website and it gives you like mob heads uh, and just has some general tweaks to the game that make the game play better Nothing like that gives you like extra chests or anything like that. It's all like Like visual effects and stuff like that Okay, we got to get in there Okay, I got time Oh, I'm out of torches. That's why I'm like, why am I not placing torches down? I cannot believe we just literally found a quad spawner. That is the first quad spawner in Minecraft that I have ever found. That is ridiculous. Is there any anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Where is this in line to the other spawners? Hold on. Let's just dig forward for a minute. Okay. Oh my god. They're all in line too, dude This okay. This this might be the best thing i've ever found in minecraft. I cannot believe this This is ridiculous. All right guys. So I have secured the area Because that's obviously with those kind of spawners man. You got to get this thing like <laughs> Like super proof man. You don't want those spiders spawning constantly. I have taken Quite a bit of damage, but we're good to go. So with that being said, let's go ahead and work on this just a little bit so we need to go four on each side right so we just need to make a quick barrier to kind of know where this thing is going to go so two three four which is this wall right here um 
this room should be a fairly easy dig i think i just want to make sure that we have enough space for everything because i think we're pretty low to the ground right now we're 37 not bad okay so uh we can activate all the spawners from standing like right here but for the most part this is just gonna be um just a one line thing there we go something like this i think so what we'll probably do is just have it fall down into four blocks underneath the lowest spawner which is right here um so let's go down there so one two three four so like four from there and I, I still hear spiders where are they dude i have been killing spiders left and right trying to get rid of all these guys was there m more uh, i don't hear any more okay so we have a pretty basic game plan so i'm gonna go ahead um I'm gonna go ahead and get digging. And when I, I'll have the four by four by four dug out, I'll be back. Okay guys, just a quick update on what's going on. I have been clearing this room out and uh, trying to get it shaped. So I've got the four by four on every side. And right now I am just kind of trying to remove the rest of the wood and stuff. Uh, I've already started digging down there some as well. We've got quite a bit of stone brick already or stone. Um, I'll probably end up just using stone for this entire spawner. I don't really see a need to like use stone brick in here. Um, whoa, oh, 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 okay, lag. And no matter what I do, I cannot stop the spiders from spawning. <laughs> They're everywhere, man. All right, so grab all this. But as you can see, it's starting to come along. Um, so for those of you who don't know sort of how spawners work, I tend to, okay, so here's what I think one of my biggest flaws on YouTube i tend to assume that everybody knows everything like i tend to think like oh well these guys know about spawners they love minecraft but a lot of people don't actually know that so i think in my videos coming uh you know moving forward i'm gonna start explaining stuff a little bit better so why am i doing what i'm doing so the the max radius that a mob can spawn from a mob spawner is four blocks uh that can be up down left or right but almost every single time a mob spawns it's always either uh on the sides or the bottom you do get mob spawns on top but a lot of the times the mob spawns on top are just like one or two so we can simply put a slab over top of that now let's talk about the efficiency of a spawner well um in a perfect world the the mob spawns and it will be moved out of the spawner area pretty quickly. But not a lot of times that doesn't happen. So to make this work as fast as possible, you have the mobs drop down four blocks and then into a water canal within two blocks. So a total of about six blocks. Once the mob is out of the spawner range, when the spawner starts to start ticking again, that is literally about as fast as you can get it. So that's why I always go six under, four on the sides, three on the top. Uh, that makes it to where you pretty much move the, the mobs, whatever mob it is, as fast as possible out of the range. That's why. <laughs> so I've got a lot more work to do here. I've got to finish digging out this room. As you can see, I've still got a bit of work ahead of me, but me and my trusty silk touch pickaxe will do just fine. Okay, guys. So the room is dug out. I just got back because I had to go grab a bunch of stuff to make this work. I uh, also repaired my tools. We did a lot of digging today, guys. So down here is where we're going to put our mob elevator in and this is where the bubble columns will take our spiders up to the surface so let's get this cleaned out real fast up just a little more get rid of all that clean that up i thought it was initially going to go one block further but and by the way guys i think i have so much stone i am excited because i don't think i'm ever going to have to like mine stone ever again <laughs> i have like four double chests full of stone man all right so we kind of need to work backwards now the way that this works is you put the bubble columns where the water is going to go up um so what we need to do is we need to make it i think one taller first off there we go and this is how it's been going the entire time dig a little bit kill some spiders dig a little bit more all right so first things first let's go ahead and get um 
let's go ahead and get our kelp in here so we can make our bubble columns there we go put in there awesome so now let me grab my wada there we go okay game totally not what i wanted you to do there we go now that we got that let's go upstairs and place this down they attack you from everywhere goodness all right <laughs> focus all right so now that we have that let's go ahead let's see where do we want probably just put it like right here put that right there and then put this right here go down get out of there now grab our kelp so we can make this uh source blocks oh i did that backwards i'm like why is that not working herder there we go the herders continue people i need to fix that can i place a block there please there we go kill the spider you see what i gotta deal with man these spiders are annoying okay so that should take care of all of the source blocks now let's go down and remove that over here we oh no you don't goodness it's non-stop guys it is non-stop okay <laughs> good god man get rid of this get rid of this put that there that makes bubble columns going up to the surface from there we need fences or walls put the walls in right here bring it on spider i am ready for thou all right that's good to go put the slabs right there and then put stone right here now hold on that right there dude this thing is annoying what are we doing here game there we go so that takes care of all that so we need to make sure that these are waterlogged there we go so then we can just um probably oh, hold on let's let me uh take these out of here and we'll just go well i guess i kind of have to keep that there um we may have to i don't know if i want to lower that a block or not it may me, need to be lowered a block but i think we'll be fine because we can just do it place that right there and then place that right there okay and then how do i want to do this get rid of that and then honestly i think to save myself a little bit of trouble because I don't want to lower this a block. That would be very, very annoying. We need some more food here. We'll quickly make a crafting table. There we go. And then stone slabs, apparently. Something like that. And then I'm going to remove these. I just grabbed those because I had them at home. But that should do the same thing. Oh, so water doesn't, uh, doesn't like flow through slabs, huh? Should work the same way though. Yeah, that, that should work just fine. Get rid of that and put that right there. Let it remove the water. Let's go ahead and test that real fast. So I'm, I'm flowing. I'm a spidey. I'm doing my spidey thing. I fall into the slab. And then I flow upwards. And then the last thing that we need to do is remove those two things. And then I flow up. Perfect. So we'll have to um, make this room bigger. But the easiest way to really stop the mobs from getting through is to put some iron bars there. Okay, guys, we're moving along. We are almost there. 
look at all the stone there's like four other chests that i have stashed <laughs> i just keep finding stuff dude um okay so what we need to do is adjust our our levels for our water i'm just waiting on the iron bars to finish cooking i guess we can do this in the meantime though stupid spiders all right so what we need to do is we need to add um one two three four five like right there we need to put our water canals in but since everything is kind of off a level um because i didn't dig down far enough we need to make it to where the water just over oh okay that that's a thing we need to make it to where the water overflows so we're just going to make like a six or seven long wide gap here same on the other side there we go pick these up there we go so we got our buckets back so we'll do the same thing on this side it should be pretty much even um actually i think this room is like perfectly symmetrical so fill all this in hope i brought enough stone with me oh i got another stack okay cool all right and uh by the way guys i know that a lot of you um are kind of uh frustrated with the content because i keep doing spawners and like mob farms and stuff like that but it just keeps happening man i can't stop it like if i find a quad spawner i'm gonna make a quad spawner this is how it's gonna go down people relax yourself there we go apparently we're in two different biomes too like four different biomes that's so cool okay so the bottom portion of this is finished we just got to get rid of all the torches now and um put the uh iron bars in so the mobs can't get through so we'll grab that real fast there we go there we go now the fun part begins getting rid of all the torches did I say you could spawn up here? So, um, for the most part, we're done. Just got to get rid of all these stupid torches real fast. There. Is there any over there? So there's some down there. I'll get the ones that are on the bottom floor last. Because, obviously, I think getting rid of the top floor ones first is more important. So let's do that. I do apologize for the boringness. I should have just had my flight stuff ready. Flew around and got it. Okay, get rid of that one. That one. I can't reach it. Okay, let's bridge up again. You, you. Is that all the ones up top here? There, there, there. Let me get rid of the one over here. There we go. Looks like everything on top is taken care of. Get rid of all this. Just got to get rid of the ones down below now. Oh, and before the mob starts uh, piling in there, we should probably fix it to where they can't attack us anymore. Hold on. Get rid of this. And so get rid of that. So they're all tracking me right now, which is fine. Um, okay. There we go. So the mobs cannot get through that, but they can still obviously climb up here. There we go. All right. So now it's just a matter of getting rid of the rest of the torches. And we should be good to go. Wonder if it would just be easier to jump in and do that. There we go. All right. Well, Oh, goodness. Things are already <laughs> working pretty well, man. Oh, I forgot to fill the wall in. No. Okay, we got to go over there, guys. I got to. Oh, my God. I got to fill that in. So the mobs are still tracking me, meaning they're getting stuck. The, the second that they stop tracking me, we should be fine. Um, but this thing is producing. There we go. We may have to end up leaving the area. Let's get rid of all this. Okay. There we go. All right, let me, I gotta get rid of that noise. Oh my God. 
All right, so in terms of mobs down there, we have 162 in total, it seems like. That is a lot of, lot of uh, baddies, man. Now the question becomes, they're probably getting stuck down there. Like I said, it's most likely because there's no room in the tunnel or one is stopping them. There we go. So we can kill these guys. Wonder how many there's like a hundred and seventy spiders there, but it could be entities from the drops too So let's kill these guys real fast Yeah, we got to make this a little bit better um, I suppose we could probably use potions to kill these guys too. That would be pretty fast They just don't like to die Jesus it's getting laggy. Okay, I got some of the entities removed. Um, I may, I think I'm gonna have to leave the area. There's just too many spiders here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill them all in time, because it's it's already there's like 280 spiders here right now, guys. And I would imagine if we look down there. Oh yeah, there's like a zillion spiders here. Okay, so I've got to go out of the chunk and come back. We should be able to manage it a little bit better when we come back, but we also need to um, change this up a little bit. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, fences here, like so. And then... Can I get on top of here? Like that. Um... And then I will, oh my God, it's so laggy. Guys, we may have made a spawner that we can't use. Cover that up. And then break that. Okay, that's a little bit better actually. Oh my God. <laughs> there are over 300 mobs in this picture right now. If you look at the entity count, we're at 323 spiders. I guess that could be items too, though. Items definitely count as entities. Oh my God. This thing is insane. Guys, I think this is gonna have to be a potion spawner. My little sword can't handle that many spiders. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, guys, we are almost certainly going to have to use instant damage to uh to kill these things because this thing is too powerful um it's well for one that because uh of the mo the spiders not taking fall damage that uh that's gonna stop any dropping right so we can't kill them that way um so we can use mine cards as entity cramming if we wanted to but the problem becomes that there's just so many that instant damage is really our best bet. So we're going to have to set up a brewing station here next episode, I think. But uh, as you can see, this thing is is working very, very well. Let's actually take a look. Uh, I can't actually I can't really go inside of there because if I do, then they'll uh, start going up. But one of the problems we had so many entities there was we just had too much stuff. We've already got like 10 st stacks of string. We've got like multiple stacks of spider eyes. This thing is insane. <laughs> so guys i think that's probably gonna do it for today's episode if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe this is i jevin peace out everybody